All right, welcome people to the Transformation Review. I'll be your guide and host here. That's all I got. Okay, so uh, first question. Image of the point after reflection of the line y equals x. So remember when you do y equals x, you switch the coordinates around, okay? So that means that x, y is going to become y, x, all right? So 9, negative 3, that is going to become 3, negative 9. There's choice 3. Okay, what's the image of point A after a reflection line y equals negative 2? Now, I have no clue, okay? So I'm going to go on the graph here, use a different graph in my paper to do this. So here's negative 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, I'm going to go up to negative uh, to 3. 1, 2, 3. That's where that point goes right there. So the line y equals negative 2 is right down here. That's y equals negative 2, okay? So I need to go to that line and then go past the same distance. Remember, y equals is going to cross the y-axis. x equals crosses through the x-axis, okay? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So I go 5 units on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's going to go right there. And so now I have to read that point. So it's over 9, I you know that, negative 9, and then it's down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and not an option. Awesome. So I'll have to fix that before I send the video out. Um, let's double check. Negative 9, positive 3, y equals negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. So, um, yeah, negative 9, and that should be negative 7. So on your paper, I'm going to make it this one, negative 9, negative 7. So that's going to be choice 3. All right. So let's go to number 3 here. So given triangle 5 coordinates, 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2. All right. We got 5, 0, 2, 3, 5, 0, and then 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay. So F. L-Y. Graph and label the pre-image and image of F prime, L prime. Y prime after a transformation in the reflection of the x-axis. So remember, this means you negate the other letter. So you're going to negate the Y coordinate. Okay? So remember to draw your triangle when you're done. So F, which has coordinates 1, negative 2, okay? Is going to negate the y is going to become f prime, which is one positive two. L, which is five zero, is going to stay l prime, and the zero when you negate it still stays zero. And then y, which is the point three three, is going to move to y prime, which is three negative three. Forget. Remember, you can also count to the x-axis and then do the same move. So that's where f is going to move. So that's one two. I should say F prime, all right? Y goes down three, down three more. And L stays right where it is because it's on the axis. And there we go, okay? And then you can just read the points from there. Number four, given the coordinates, graph and label the image and pre-image after the transformation of X is equal to negative two. So remember, you're going to have to graph the line, count, and then do it again. So there's no, really no rule for this. So it's one, two, three, four. Negative 4, down 6, 1, 2. Okay, I'm going to pause while I do this. All right, so there's a triangle. So here's the line x is equal to negative 2. Remember, it goes through the x-axis at negative 2. So there is our line right there. Okay. So we're going to count the line. Two units, go two units past. Count the line. Two units, go two past. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Three, four, five, six passed. And there is our triangle. And make sure you label appropriately, right? So that's A prime, C prime, and then B prime. Remember, it says state the coordinates. So let's put them down. A prime, right, is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's negative. B prime, you write them down. All right, we got that. Okay? So just read and grade. All right. This should be at the origin, so I'll make sure to add that on there, okay? 
to determine the coordinates of 10, negative 5, to a transformation of 1 fifth in yards. That means you're just going to divide these by 5, right? 1 fifth of them. So uh, B prime, right, if you want to say it that way, is going to be negative 2, 1, 1 fifth. Okay? Form the translation of uh, dilation 2 from point D of triangle ABC. State the coordinates. So we're just going to count from D, okay, which is right there to A, so it's up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, and then we just repeat, for dilation. that's a dilation of 1, we do it again, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, okay, and there's A prime, same thing for B prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left, so 6 more, 1, 2, 3, 6 gets us there, and then C, down 3, over 4, we repeat, down 3, 2, 3, 4, over 4, and there's C prime, okay? And then we just connect them. Should have a ruler for this. I'll make sure to leave you one at your desk. Hopefully the will have one. And there you go. So now we just write down the points. And there you go. All right, on to the next one. <clears throat> okay. Perform the transformation, we're going to reflect from point B, and we're going to do a dilation of force, not reflect. We're going to dilate from point B, okay, as our center, and we're going to do it for a um, scale factor of four. So we count it from the center out, over three up two, and we're going to do that four times. There's one, okay, over three up two, there's two, over three up two, there's three, over three up two, there's four. And so that's where C prime's going to be. All right, A is over 1 and up is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 1 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 2. 4, 3, over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's where A prime is going to go. Now you can also think of it as over 1 and 4. You're going to go over 4 and then up 16, right? Or instead of over 3, you're going to go over 12. Instead of up 2, you're going to go up. Okay, so you can also do that in, in those moves. <clears throat> then we're going to take a ruler or a red pen. This is such a great ruler for me. Okay. And there's our new triangle. So let's write down the coordinates. So A prime, right? B prime is going to stay the same as it was, and then C prime. So let's see if you guys can get them down. And hopefully you guys end up with those guys right there. Okay, going on to number eight. You've got translations. Remember, adding and subtracting. So the first number is to the X. So we're really going to take one away, and we're going to add three. And so we get negative three, negative three, right? Ten. And so that, we can call it A prime if you want. That's going to be our image. <clears throat> yeah, we're supposed to do two moves here, and it only has one. So let's fix that. So let's do a translation. And let's do, uh, we haven't done this yet. Let's do a reflection in the line Y equals negative X, okay? So let's do both of those. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph ABC. So let's do that now. All right. Pause if we need to. There's a triangle. Okay. And so we're going to do the transformation. Now, remember, it's composition, so we're going to work backwards. We're doing the reflection line Y equals negative X first. So if we want to state the coordinates, okay, we got negative 5, 2 for B, negative 1, 7, and for C, we got two negative one. So we're gonna do the transformation. So we're doing one over. Remember, we're calling it double prime, so we can call this move single prime. And the rule for reflection line y equals negative x is to change and negate. So the point x, y is gonna become negative y, negative x, switch and negate, okay? So here we go. So switch them, so negative two, and switch the signs, positive five. For b prime, is gonna be negative seven, positive one. And then c prime, switch them, one, Negate them, negative two. All right. So I'm going to go graph that one and we'll do it in red. So do yours now. All right. And you should get something that looks like that. All right. So then we're going to do it again. This time we're going to do a translation of the point six, negative four. So we add six to the first point, 
and then subtract 4 from the y. So add 6 is going to put us at 4. Subtract 4 is going to put us at 1. For b double prime, add 6 is going to put us at 1. Subtract 4 is going to be 3. And then you get the idea. So 7 and then negative 6. Okay, so here we go. Um, remember, also on the graph, right, from here you can add, move 6 to the right, 1, 2, 6, and subtract 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there you are. So negative 1, negative 3, right? From Steve, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, all right, and there we are, that's 7. Right? Oh, we wrote that down. Nope, I moved from the wrong point. Don't do that. See the error here? Okay, see so we caught the error by having them written down in graphing. Okay, we gotta move from the red guy here, right? So let's make sure we do that here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. There we go. So there's seven and there's negative six. Two, four. There we go. Okay. And then for B, or A, so it's one, two, three, one, two, four, and there's four, one, right? And there's our graph, all right? Number 10, the transformation reflection of uh, re reflection in the origin will present result in the same transformation as. So remember, reflection in the origin, you if you want to think about it, let's let's take a point. Let's uh, like let's say we didn't know. So let's go back up to the graph. If I took a prime, right, what would I do? I would count to the origin and I would do the same move. So over two, down one, two, three, four, five, over two, one, two, three, four, five. So we already know a prime, right? which had the coordinates of negative 2, 5, and that would become 2, negative 5. So what happened here, right? Well, we know the x point x, y just became, oh, negative x, oh, negative y. So just change signs. So what other thing is the same, right? That's this guy, rotation of 180 degrees. <clears throat> okay, number 11, right? We did a uh, transformation, dilation of 2 about the origin is performed, okay? When we do a dilation, what happens, right? Go back to here. Our triangle is gonna increase in size, but remember, the angle measures are gonna stay the same. This angle is congruent in both. Angle C's are congruent in both, okay? So in this case, right, the angle for K prime, measure of angle K prime, is still gonna stay 36, okay? And then our reason, or Explanation here is dilation does not change angle measure. Okay, only side lengths. So k prime m prime is going to equal 2 times 5, which is 10. Okay, right? And then we can just say dilation of 2 uh, doubles the length of the sides. All right, number 12. Write an equation line that maps the point 5, 1 onto 1, 5. So let's just do it, right? If we don't have uh, graph paper, we can graph it. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, right? Here's 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember what's actually happening. The, the coordinates are switching, right? That's this line that goes right here. That's the line y equals x. So that's the equation of the line of reflection, okay? And if you want to do it in notation, that's what it's going to look like. All right, so let's do 13. You guys graph it. All right, so we're going to call this the Bell's rectangle. Hope here, okay? So uh, we are doing a rotation of 90. So remember, there's two options. We can take our paper and rotate it 90 degrees. That's turning it once to the left, okay? Then I'm going to read the points. So this point H, right, is now one to the left, so negative one, and then down one, two, three, four, five, so it's negative one, negative five. So turn it back to normal. 
Go graph it. One left, one, two, three, four, five down. And there's H prime. Okay. So H prime, negative one, negative five. The other option is just take the coordinate. Okay. Take the coordinate like O is negative eight, four, and do a swapping up. So O prime is going to be swap them and then negate the first one. And now I know it's negative four, negative eight. Okay. And if we turn it, four to the left, eight down, right, is negative four, negative eight. Okay. So one, two, three, four. All right. So go see if you can finish the rest. Pause it now and do it. All right. And there is our rotation of 90. Now notice when you rotate it, it looks like you almost reflected it, right? To so be careful, but we'll notice the letter, the order of the letters. Had I reflected it, this E would have dropped down with its H's, right? H would be here and instead it's E. So that means it turned to make that happen, okay? When you're looking to identify the transformation, pay attention to the letters. All right, so go ahead and graph this guy and then we'll do this one. All right, so we end up with this triangle right here. And remember, we're rotating, this is an interesting one, 180 degrees about point B, all right? So for this question, what we want to do is essentially pretend that B is our new origin, okay? So I'm going to just draw this guy right here, all right? We're pretending B is our new origin, all right? So when I rotate B, Let's read where point A is. From B, I have to go over three to the left and up four. So what I'm going to do is turn it back to normal. Actually, I'm going to go 180 degrees. Go all the way upside down, people. Nah, don't stop once, right? So now I have to go one, two, three, four to the left, and then down three. So turn it back to normal. Just like it was origin. Four to the left. One, two, three, four, down three. That is where point A prime is going to go. Also, 180 degrees. Remember, you kind of, it's like a reflection in the origin. Just count and do it again, okay? So down three, right three, down three, right three. That's where we're gonna end up and that's where point C prime is gonna go. All right, and there is our reflection, rotation of 180 degrees about the point. That's it, <clears throat> okay? So A prime is now going to be, now don't count from here. Go back to the origin and count that point, okay? You always read it from the origin. So it's one, two, three, Four to the left and then down one. Two, eight. So negative four, negative eight. B prime is our center, that's going to stay the same. And C prime is once again still negative eight because it's the same. This time it's over three, so it's three negative eight. And there you go. All right. Identify the transformation and write the correct rule that applies. So for the first one, take a look. Notice, now, the easiest thing to do here <clears throat> is grab a point that's on, like, the axis, right, um, from where it's growing from. So we can tell, like, from here, it's two units away from this, and this is another two units. So that tells me that uh, my cent this is my center, and I've grown by a factor of two because it's doubling in size, right? You can see it here, down one over three, down one over three. So we're looking for that. Where is the, where, how far away are these two points? So that's the easy way to do it. Let's change it. How far away are these two points from each other? And then if you double that distance, okay, um, by a factor of two here, that'll give us the center. So if it's over three down, or over two to the right down three, if we do it again, boom, that's going to be our center. Okay, so we know that it's a dilation now. now remember, this is bigger than the image. So it's got to be a number in between zero and one, all right? Um, so it's going to be centered at the origin. Here it's decreasing in size. So it's one half about the origin. All right, the second one, what do you guys think? Right? Is it a translation? Are we just sliding it to get here to here, right? Looks like we are, except look at W prime is here. And if we slid it, that should be the original. It's not happening, right? And also we're going that way. So. That tells me that in order for this to happen, we'd have to actually turn it upside down, okay? So we know it's got to be a rotation of 180 degrees. The center's at the origin, okay? 
Um, and also the rule, I forgot the rule, forgot the rule for this one, is going to be 1 half x and then 1 half y, or x over 2, y over 2. Here it's a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. Now if you're worried about the notation not being correct, you can write it in words. Rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. You can feel free to write that in words, okay? Um, and then the rule here, remember, is x, y, and we just change the signs. So negative x, negative y, okay? Um, all right, so let's take a look. What are we doing here? So this looks like it would go right on top of that. It's not a slide, right, because it's facing in the direction, so that's a reflection. And then remember that the mirror should be right in between. So where's the middle? This is one, two, three, four away. The middle is two ways, so it's right here. That's our mirror, okay? All right, so that's a vertical line crossing the x-axis. So this equation is x equals, check the scale, negative one. So this is a reflection and the line x equals negative one. And there really isn't a rule so much, right? Um, I wouldn't write the rule for this because <clears throat> it's different for all the points. Um, if you are, really want to, look at the coordinates. This is negative one. Uh, this is 1, negative 1, and it becomes 1, 2, 3, down 1, negative 3, negative 1. So B is 1, 2, 3, 3, negative 1. It becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 5, negative 1. So it looks like negative 5, negative 1, right? We're uh, essentially reflecting over this axis. Right, so this would go here, and there's an extra two over. This would be one, two, three, two, three, and there's an extra two over. So the rule, x, y, is to um, change the sign of the x coordinate, right, and then take two more away, and then the y coordinate stays the same. Technically, that's the rule, okay? <clears throat> All right. The next one, we can take a look. So it, what's going on here, right? It looks like this is just slid right over there. Okay? Slide right over. So let's double check. How far are they away? It's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. If it is a translation, all the units, all the points have to be moved the same amount. So this is a translation. It's going... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six to the right, and negative six, or sorry, left, and then it's going up two. And so the rule, x, y becomes x minus six, y plus two. And there you go. All right. All right, left these guys. So graph 16, we'll take a look at it together in a minute. <clears throat> Okay, so there's our figure. So we have A, which is negative 5, 2, B is negative 1, 7, and C is 2, negative 1. So we wrote the coordinates down on the side here. And remember, we are <coughs> working backwards for this, right? So the first word we're doing is a reflection in the origin, right? Remember, a reflection in the origin is the same as a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. So remember, all we're going to do is essentially just negate the coordinates or count to this to the origin and do it again. So if we count to the origin and do it again, up one, left two, we go up one, left two, and there's our point, okay? Or if you want to think about it in terms of for a prime, right, we're doing double prime, so we can call it a prime, it's just going to be to negate the coordinates, okay? So 
So negative 2, 1, right? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 2. And that's 5, negative 2. So that's A prime. And then it's over 1, right? Down 7. Over 1, 1, 2, 3, 7. Okay. And there you go. And there is our new triangle. <clears throat> okay. And then the third one we're going to do. I'm going to pick up my pen here. All right. Is there a translation? All right. Of negative 6, 4. So add 6 or subtract 6 from the X. Right. Subtract 4 from the Y. B double prime. Subtract 6. Subtract 4. C double prime. Subtract 6. Subtract 4. And here we go. So. From here, we would be going 1, 2, for each point. So we're going to go, oh, forgot to label this guy. Okay. For C prime, right, 6 left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down 4. Boom. Okay. There's negative 8, 3. All right, for B prime, it's 1, 2, 3, All right, there's double primes. So be careful you write them right. There you go. So there's negative 5, negative 11. And then for A, all right, and there you go. Redraw the triangle, and we're all set. All right. 17, so go graph this one, guys. Okay, back up in a minute. All right, so there's our triangle, and so we're going to stack them up. So A, right, 3, 1, B is 2, negative 2, C is negative 3, 4, and here we go. We're doing the dilation, center at the origin of 2, okay, followed by a reflection of the x axis. So we're doing this of this. Remember, we have to work backwards, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is a dilation. Center at the origin is nice and easy. Just multiply by 2. Now we're calling it double prime, so we can call the first one single prime. And this is going to be 6, 2. Okay, so for B prime, double it is 4, negative 4. And for C prime, double it is negative 6, 8. Okay, if you still want to do it uh, a normal step way, right, remember you're going to count from the center out and then do it again. Okay, so over 3 up 1, over 3 up 1. All right. Here we're going over four, <clears throat> excuse me, over three of four, so over three, four, and there's our new points, okay? And then you can go record them down if you'd like. Well, not really if you like, if you haven't done it already. Okay, so there's our new triangle. And now we're going to do a reflection on the y-axis, okay? So if you remember your coordinates, that means that you are just going to change the sign of the x-coordinate opposite letter, okay? So that means that this is going to be negative 6, 2. That b double prime, change the x, is going to be negative 4, negative 4. And c double prime is going to be 6, 8. If you forget that, just remember, we're doing the y-axis, so that's this guy. Count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Count it, 1, 2, on the other side. And there's C, double prime, and then you can just count, boom, over. Okay, so it's going to be 6, 8, okay? For A, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away. So we're going to go 6 on the other side. All right, there's negative 6, 2. And for B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and bam, there's our line, okay? And then straight edge. Okay, and there we go. All right, 
couple left here. 18, write the rule for the composition of transformations that would map A, B, C onto A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. So we're starting with this triangle. This is our original, okay? This right here becomes the first prime. So that's right here. That's where we want to go. Now, remember, this is moving over here. So this is a reflection, okay? Not a rotation. We're not just sliding it. We're reflecting it. So count between the points. One, two, three, four. The mirror has to be halfway. That's this guy right here. Cross it through the x-axis, so it's x equals, and it's at 2. So it's a reflection, and the line x equals 2. And then we're growing. So that's a dilation, right? Where is it centered? Point A prime, right at the origin. And then we're growing, so it's a factor of 2. Okay? So the first move, where's a reflection, the line x equals 2. The second move was a dilation, right, of 2 centered at the origin. Okay, so if we want to write it in a composition form, okay, it's this, remember it goes backwards. So it's the second one goes first. So it's dilation of two at the origin of the reflection of the line x equals two. Okay, next one. I started with this, going to that, and then we're doing here. So how do I get from here to here, right? So, um, if I reflected, right, C is going to go, B is going to go down and it's up. So this has to be a turn, right? And if you're not sure, just look at the coordinates, okay? A started with the point 1, 2, negative 1, and it turned into A prime, which is 1, 2. So what happened, right? Swap and then up. So that's a rotation of 90, right? Look at it. Boom. That's what, that's what it was. Okay. So the first move is a rotation of 90 about the origin. And then what happened? This slid down this way. So let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Is that the rule? 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh, good thing we count it. 1, 2, 3, 4. At 5. So it's a translation, right? It's going right 5 and it's going down 4. So if I want to write it in uh, notation again, remember, second one first. So translation of 5, negative 4 of a rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. All right. There you go. Number 19, draw all the lines of symmetry. Now, it's a hexagon. It, if this is in, and I will add this in, the word regular. The word regular means that all the sides and angles are equal. So if all these sides are equal, okay, that means that I should be able to cut the figure in half right down the middle this way, okay? And that's gonna be a line of symmetry here, all right? Not only that, I can also cut from corner to corner. All right, so now we gotta count the lines of symmetry. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. We would say this is seven, but remember, we already counted it. So there's six lines of symmetry, okay? The word regular member means all the sides and angles are equal. How many degrees of rotational symmetry? So if I could turn the paper, right, to get it to look the same, when is it going to look the same? So think about it. Right? If I turn the paper, boom, that's when it looks the same right there. So how many times can I turn it? Right? It's, so if I turn it this way, it's going to stop there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six times around. Okay? So rotational symmetry, remember, is 360 divided by the number of times that can spin this around and have looked the same, which is six. And so this rotational symmetry is 60 degrees. For a regular hexagon, if it's not regular and all the sides are equal, then it's not going to be uh, six times. It's just probably going to be one. And then it's 360. So. That word regular is important, okay? All right, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking with me on this one. I'm um, sorry I couldn't be here today. Uh, remember, test on Monday, and then I'll have that graded for you. And then we'll work on a retake uh, for later in the week, hopefully Friday if we need it, okay? All right. If you need anything, feel free to send me a message and remind. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on Tuesday.